We also need to do an episode. Is Brad going to quit his job? We got Ooh, nine. And move got, to Denver. We got nine weeks to find out. Nine weeks to find out. Can I bet? You want to like, you want to make a claim? Yeah, let's do a bet. Me and you. You know. <laughs> how, you, you can give your opinion. I'll try and do a poker face. I bet you go another year. I bet you do. One, one more year. One, one more four. year. I bet you do. That's my. That would be my bet. Cause like I mean you're close, dude. Like you got the YouTube stuff going. Tara's got her job. You guys are set up. You got your debt and shit paid off. But knowing, like knowing you, I would think you would. You would. I don't know if this is what I would do, but knowing you, I'd bet you'd be like, oh, I could just do one more year of this for sure guaranteed income to put towards whatever it is. I will say this. There's like, there's three things, three things that Aaron knows. Uh, yeah. There's three things that are going to tip the scale. And it's like, uh, it's a best of three. Okay. Like if two of the things go to retire, then I'm going to get Okay. And we'll know one of them in one is if Tyra can get a job in a place that we're looking to buy a house. If she can get a job in that state, then yes, that's one of them. The other would be, are they going to make me wear a mask at work next year? Mm. And that really counts for like 10 things because I will not wear a mask at work next year. And the third thing is, do I hit 100,000 subscribers? If any two of those three things happen, I'm done. If not, so I don't know how serious you guys are on the first one, so I can't give any thought on that. Wait, what was the first one? Terrace job. Right. Okay. I, like, I don't know how serious that is. We're actively, we're, we're actively seeking jobs. Like I would like, love to see it. I mean, I would love to like going on job interviews. I would love to have another place to go to to travel to. Yeah. We'll see, man. We'll keep the podcast updated. The average money community. If Brad retires before his kid starts kindergarten. <laughs> it'd be huge, dude. Cook breakfast every morning. Walk your kids to school like your dad did. Be huge, they man. just announced. They just announced in my town that my town has never had universal pre-K. Do you know what that is? Is mm-hmm. that the state thing? So universal pre-K is like your school district. Essentially, like first grade, they go to they go to first grade. Pre-K, you or like uh, kindergarten is also like paid for by the school and your taxes. But like that 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 year, like pre-K used to be like half day. It was like mm-hmm. weird. I think Mason kind of does like a pre-K, doesn't he? He has is he part four? time. Yeah, so he does. Yeah, he is so preschool. Next, yeah. So next year he's going to full out kindergarten full day, right? No, he's got one more year of preschool than kindergarten. Okay, so then he's kindergarten and first grade. So he's going to go to first grade when he's like six. Because he's four now, no? Yeah, he'll be first so he'll grade be when five, he's six. He'll be f- six. Oh, see, yeah, we go to first grade. No. Oh, right. Yeah. We go to first grade when you're six, right? Ours is like December 1st or when you're six. So like Avery will have pre-K next year. And that's now paid for by the, so that half year that you have, like that half day, Mm -hmm. it's a full day and it's paid for by taxes. Universal pre-K. No, no, we don't have that. That saves me like 18 grand in childcare. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, but no, if you, I, you have to if, pay preschool out of pocket. But if I'm living if I'm living in northern Colorado, it's not really gonna matter that much. Yeah. You're also living in paradise. 